Hey you guys, and welcome back to the vlog. So for today's video, I'm going to be doing a Christmas decorate with me, and I am so excited. Um, if I'm being quite honest, I'm like hella stressed because both kids are home today. Dorian's home with an e-learning day, so he has his therapies going on, and then Jude actually has a cold. So he's, he's home too and having both kids home is a lot, especially if I want to be productive and get stuff done. But we're just, we're going to power through. I'm definitely getting my bearings back with this whole stay at home mom thing. Uh, it's stressful. Like, I love my kids dearly, and I wouldn't want anybody else watching them, but, like, it's really freaking stressful. And especially because I have these own personal goals, and I'm sure that you other mamas can relate. Like, when we try to think of putting our goals and hobbies in ourselves first, like, mom guilt sets in, which is terrible. So I'm trying to incorporate them and get them excited so I can, you know, kill two birds with one stone. So... I'm gonna just try to film in between Dorian sessions so that way I'm not interrupting those. If you guys are new to my channel, my name's Nikki Loza. I live in Savannah, Georgia. I have two kids, Dorian who just turned five. I actually just posted his fifth birthday vlog. If you guys haven't seen that, I'll go ahead and leave it here at the top. And I have a three-year-old, Jude. Jude is in daycare currently while I was working full time, but I'm recently a stay at home mom again. Uh, the workforce, you know, eight to four, eight to four thirty, forty 40 hours a week. It's hard. It's hard juggling that. I had Jude in daycare and he was constantly getting sick and it just, I was constantly getting sick and having to take a lot of time off of work. And it just, it was hard. It was hard to juggle and manage. And I just, I had to set my priorities straight and just think about what really mattered to me. So I decided to make it work and come home and be a stay at home, a stay at home mom again. So he does have two more weeks in daycare because they do require two weeks notice. So that way they can bring in another child. I was thinking, yay, I'll have these last two weeks um, to myself before he comes home full time and I can set a routine, but unfortunately now he's sick. So I'm paying for daycare and he's not even there. But that's okay. I'd rather him be sick at home um, than sending him there. Like that's, don't want that for my baby. So I'm gonna release Dorian from his therapies. Um, right now talk to his therapist and make sure the session went well. Let's go. I'm back. <laughs> Um, so let's start looking through our stuff. Um, see what needs to be washed. Oh, and uh, for any of you who have a Sam's membership, um, we actually just got this blanket there. It is so cute. I think it was only like $12. Oh, and Sophie will be joining us today as the co-pilot of this video. She's like, hell no, I ain't. I found our tree skirt too that needs to be washed, but it actually matches. Friday already so they have 50% off their Christmas stuff this actually came from Lowe's I just thought it was so funny now that we live in the south that we have a blow-up Santa Gator on our lawn and then I found these too they're 
their weights to hang your stockings, which I thought was so sweet. I was thinking David, me, and then the boys. So I, I definitely want to put those up on a very high shelf though. That way the boys don't yank them off. <laughs> David and I have these matching ones. These ones are actually from my childhood. I think that one was my brother's and that one was mine when we were a kid. Um, this one <laughs> doesn't really work for one of the boys, seeing as it's a girl's one. But I do want to get the boys each a stocking. Not one that, not one of those like silly character ones because I want something timeless that's going to last. Here's my stack of stuff that needs to be washed. <laughs> Come here, Jude. <laughs> Come here, Jude. Hey, you guys. It's actually the next day. Um, sorry. Come here, baby. No. Baby, don't. Jude is playing with my tripod, and I don't know how, but apparently it resembles a dinosaur. So now he thinks he's a dinosaur with the tripod. No, 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 no. Come on. Leave it alone. Leave it alone. No, 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 baby, it's not a toy. <sighs> so, my intentions for this video were to be super. Okay, he's making me hella nervous. Okay, don't be gentle, okay? <laughs> God. <laughs> Anyways, as I was saying, my intentions for this video were to be super pretty and super Christmassy aesthetic and the perfect home and I watch all the videos on, on YouTube where they show the Christmas decor and the house is beautiful. It's like walking out of a Macy's and I really wanted that for you guys, but unfortunately that's not my life. <laughs> Both kids have the stomach bug and Jude has had it all week since I've kept him home since Monday. Like I said in my previous video, he was supposed to be in daycare this week, next week, and then home for good. But all week he's had the stomach bug, so I've had to keep him home. But they, this morning, Dorian woke up at about 4, 4.30, was just talking away and this is normal for Dorian. I'm not sure if you guys know, but kiddos on the spectrum, their sleep is sometimes irregular and there'll be some days where he just wakes up and he's content. He's in his bed, he doesn't go anywhere. He just wakes up and has a lot to say. And it could just be his brain developing and processing all of the new information he's learned from ABA or his therapies or the million things this little kid has going on. So this morning when he did that, it wasn't out of the norm and he was up chit chatting for about 30 minutes and then he went to bed. And then like 30 or so minutes after that, he coughed and I thought it was a normal cough, but David hurt 
something else. Thank goodness. And poor Doreen threw up in his bed. So we had to clean him. And I've been up since 4.30, you guys. And I'm exhausted. I'm going to not be able to do the Christmas tree in this video. I apologize. I'm going to save that for another video. I'm thinking maybe one of my... Come here, baby. Come here. One of my weekly resets. I'll just add that and that'll be fun. Um, I'm bummed about it, but you know, tis life. But I do have some more Christmas decorations. I did a bunch of laundry yesterday, so I think I'll be able to film that today and be able to share with you guys in the upcoming clips. The kids are doing okay. Luckily, nobody's thrown up other than Dorian this morning and they're just having some tummy issues, but they're they're behaving pretty well. He's now using my tripod in the racetrack, so that's fun. Jude, come say hi to the camera. Come here. Hi, camera. Come on, look at him. He's waddling his butt's all red. Say hi. Say hi, people. Can you say, please like, follow, subscribe, and ring the bell. <laughs> okay, so I'm not using my child for viewers. Jude, you want to hang the Christmas blankies? Come on, let's hang the Christmas blankies. Come touch, see how soft it is. Soft. Touch it. Open it, open it. Yeah, is it pretty? Thank you for watching. Thank you.